Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Hedera Hashgraph at the request of Jordan Tyler. Jordan, we're doing this one for you. I'm going to pause the music. We're going to get into this right now. I do think Hedera's got lower to go, just a little bit lower, but I do want to take a moment and just give myself a pat on the back. Uh, <clears throat> we were... We were literally like at this area. I forget if we were at 14 cents, 15 cents, 16 cents. I forget where we were, but on my on my live stream, the day that this news came out, or within the day that that news came out, that the uh, BlackRock was implementing their real world assets (RWAs) on the Hedera Hashgraph blockchain, when that news came out, I was looking at death in the face here, man. And I was saying, wait for a standard pullback. Right. I know it's exciting. I know it sounds like big news. It makes you feel FOMO a little bit. Stories like that are not meant to help you. They're meant to trap you. They're meant to make you feel a certain way, a strong kind of certain way. And then whenever you feel that certain way, you make a irrational decision like buying after a pump 73%. You're reading this story. It came out three hours ago, but it already pumped 73%. Are you getting in late to the party? Probably yes, you're gonna be the exit liquidity. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of people were. Now, is it a good time to sell here? It's, it hasn't been a good time to sell since this day, since it dropped, right? So if, if you're thinking about selling here, that's it's a horrible idea. Not financial advice, you do what you want, but if you panic bought, you better not panic sell. Don't complete the cycle, right? <clears throat> keep, keep it open, wait for the price to come back to you because it will come back to you, right? You thought buying up there was a good idea. You felt like it was a fair price because of the news. Well, the news hasn't changed. The price changed, but the news hasn't changed, right? This is the same crypto that you bought with the same intentions that you bought it for. It just says it's worth less than it is. It'll be worth more than where you bought it, inevitably, throughout, like, given time. Not much time, even. But as of right now, this present time, you're in the pits. You bought at an emotional time. You might be feeling emotional because you're down a good bit. But my question to you would be, if you didn't buy up here, would you see this as an opportunity to buy right now? And the answer should be yes. We're very near the 618. We're very near the golden ratio. I think we will see it between about 10 cents to 9 cents. That's probably where we're going to go. If we look at this extension phase here, from high to low here, you went all the way up to your 1272, 1414 area. Your 382 is right at about 9 cents. Your 0.5 is at 9.8 cents. Those are the next fibs to hit. And that lines up very well, very well with the current golden ratio area of this fib. So I think that's what's going to happen. Daily RSI looks fine, but you could go a little bit lower and still look fine. Weekly RSI looks fine. You've got lower lows in the weekly RSI while having higher lows in the price. You've got higher lows in the price and higher highs in the price. The price looks fine. You're finding support at previous areas of resistance that you were in a large phase of accumulation from. You broke out and now you found support there and you've had a phenomenal move up. You just gave some of it back. You look fine, HBAR, you look fine. You're at 10.242 cents right now. <clears throat> You're probably gonna go below 10 cents, if not potentially to around nine cents. That's not that much more of a drop. And then you'll probably move up again. The lowest I would see H bar going from here would be about eight cents. I don't know if it does. It could, but even if it does, again, still don't panic. So look at it for what it is, right? Think. And the best way to do that, if you're ever, if you're feeling emotions, it's okay. It is okay to be emotional. It's absolutely. You're a human being. You've got money that you care about on the line. It sucks to be wrong about anything in life. But whenever you're putting money, when you're doing things that are more or less serious for yourself, right? You told your, your wife, you told your best friends, you feel smart, you're just keeping it to yourself, whatever, and it, you felt like you made a good move and it turns out to be the, the wrong move, you could put yourself in an emotional position. It's okay to be in an emotional position. It's not okay to act on it. We're human beings, you're gonna feel emotions. Let them roll over you. Don't act like, don't, you can try and be a stone machine and it's okay if, if, if you are just stone cold emotionless. That's okay. But I feel like a lot of people say that in this space. They're like, you need to have no emotion. And it's like, really, I think what you need to do is address the emotion. You don't need to not have emotion. If you cannot have it, that's ideal. But really what it is, is you need to address it. Don't be afraid of it. Just address it for what it is. Recognize it. And when you see that emotion, which I'm sure if you panic bot up here, you're probably feeling it now. Don't act on it. Was it a good time to act on your emotions up here? No. Why would it be a good time to act on your emotions here? That's, you know, it's just, it, it answers itself. So if you did panic sell, um, you know, 
any of the past few days, well, hey, it's at a lower price now. If you liked it up there, it will probably go back up there. You'll probably see your gains be given back to you at some point. Not a financial advice, not a promise, not a guarantee, not a financial advisor, but I do think the price will return to glory sooner than later. Um, it's just for the time being, over the next couple days, maybe even couple weeks, you're gonna be working your way down and consolidating, but not by much. You're at about 10.2 cents now. You could go as low as eight cents, probably more likely nine to 10 cents. You're basically in that area now. So a little bit more and then up probably, and then up. And that's, that's really all I have to say. So if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that like button. Thank you guys for coming. I really do appreciate you. <clears throat> Take this opportunity as a lesson Take this lesson as an opportunity to grow, maybe is what I should say. Don't act on the media, right? That's not, it's not good. What you, need to, what you need to do, the proper reaction whenever you read a news article as bullish sounding as that and you get the price action as bullish as this, what you need to do is be like, good for them. Good for them. Good for all the people who bought down here, who bought back here, who bought back here. Good, good for them wasn't me. Wish it was, but it wasn't me. Makes me feel like I missed out on something because I did, but that's okay. I'm holding cryptos. I'm interested in other cryptos. They will have their turn soon. Just got to be patient and wait for my time, right? It's okay to feel the FOMO. It's just not okay to act on it. And the proper reaction when you see something like this should be like, good for them. I missed it. I missed that one. Maybe you were looking for H bar and you thought it was going to go a little lower and you're going to buy here. And instead it did this. Instead of being FOMO and buying the top, be sound and wait for a common retracement and just think good for them. Good for them. Wish I did it, but I didn't. This one got away. It's okay for things to get away, but don't chase them. Don't chase them and take this as an opportunity to grow as well. Whenever it comes to the media, man, the media is not there to help you. They're there to help their employers and their employers understand what the media is to people, what it does for like overall interpretations of the markets and, and worldviews and all kinds of things, man. The media is simply there for you to hear a story. They want you to hear that story for a reason. And you have to ask yourself the question, is it to help you? If the answer is yes, then get some help yourself, man. Go go get some help because no, it's they're, they're not to help you. It's not going to help you. They're never posting stories to help you. That's not the purpose at all. They're posting it so that you hear it. And if you don't know what that means, I don't know how to better explain it, man. They want you to hear it. It's something they want you. They're not posting it to help you. They want you to hear it. There's an intention behind you hearing it, and it's not for your benefit. I don't know how else to phrase it. So before I just keep droning on, that's all I got for you guys. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe one last time. That's all I got. Take care. Bye-bye.